Hi everybody, me again. So if you've misconfigured your Asus router and it's no longer working the way it should, uh, maybe you've just forgotten the username and password required to sign in uh, so you can manage the router or perhaps you want to sell your Asus router or give it to someone else. Whatever your reasons in this video, I'm going to go through four different ways uh, to show you how to reset any Asus router to its default factory settings. So the four methods we'll be looking at is one, be using the Asus web interface. Uh, second method is using the reset button. Uh, the third, using the Asus app. And then if all else fails, showing you how to do a hard reset method. Stay tuned to the end of the video as I'm going to summarize what you should expect to happen when you invoke a factory reset. Okay, so let's get started with method one uh, by using the Asus router web interface. So the first thing you want to do is log in uh, via the IP address on a browser. Um, the default is 192.168.1.1. Um, if that doesn't work for you, check in your user documentation to see what your uh, default IP address is. So what you want to do is uh, enter your uh, username and password. And then once you're logged in, you want to scroll down and on the bottom left, hit the administration tab. And then once you're into that, hit the restore, save and upload setting tab. And straight away, you'll see here on the left, it says factory default. So the button on the right hits, uh, shows restore. If you hit that, that will then restore your router to its factory network settings. So that's it, nice and simple. And obviously you would use this method if um, you can still access your router and there's nothing going on that's preventing you from uh, logging in. Okay, so let's look at the second method using the reset button. So if you've forgotten the username and password for your Asus router or for some other reason or other, you are unable to log into it and change its settings, then in that case, your only solution is to reset it to factory settings and then reconfigure the router uh, and the network. So to do that, look for a, a reset button, which is usually on the back of your Asus router. There are quite a few Asus router models, um, so each may vary, uh, but you will be able to find a, a button labeled as reset. Once you've found it, press and hold the reset button for around 5 to 10 seconds until the power LED starts to flash on the front of your Asus router. Then just wait for a short time for the router to restart and reset its settings to the factory default one. Uh, once it's rebooted, you can then log in using the default username and password, admin and admin, and then reconfigure it from scratch as if it were new out of the box. Okay, so the third method um, for resetting your Asus router to its factory default settings is to use the Asus app, which is available on both Android and uh, from the Apple Store. So just open up the app, and then uh, once you see the home screen, bottom right-hand corner, just tap on the settings icon, uh, once you've tapped on that, just scroll down uh, about two thirds of the way down until you see system settings and just tap on that Then scroll down almost to the bottom and you'll see there um, the penultimate icon is factory default. So just click on that. You'll get a pop up it tells you it's going to take about three minutes to restore your Asus router to its factory default settings. So nice and simple. Um, once you've done that, you'll then uh, have a router that's like it was when it came out of the box, brand new, and you just need to log in and set everything up as you did the first time. Okay, so the fourth and final method is called the hard reset method. This has the same effect as the traditional reset methods that we've gone through earlier. A hard reset really is your last option when the Asus router uh, that you use mouse functions to a point that the conventional reset methods just won't work and the router restarts during the reset procedure, but it doesn't apply its default factory settings. So in this case, you need to try the hard reset method. Um, 
The ASUS hard reset process does vary across the various ASUS models, and ASUS has documented uh, five hard re uh, reset procedures. I'll leave a link in the uh, description below where you can find them for your specific router model. For each method, you'll see a long list of applicable models. Find the method that's appropriate for your specific ASUS model and follow it closely. But as an example, here's how the hard reset method is done for most ASUS routers with Wi-Fi 6. So first step, turn off your ASUS Wi-Fi 6 router by, re, uh, by using the power button on the back of the router. Yeah. Next, press and hold the WPS button on the back of the router. Turn on the router by pressing the power button while still holding the WPS button. On the front of the router, the power light turns on. Keep holding the WPS button while that happens. When the power light turns on on the front of the router, then you can release the WPS button. Restart the ASUS router by manually pressing the power button off and then on again, and the router is now reset to its factory default settings as if it were new out of the box, and you can configure it from fresh. Okay, so when you start the factory reset procedure on your ASUS router, you can expect the following things to happen. First of all, all the settings you have made are deleted and replaced with the ASUS default settings. Next, the username and password for logging into your ASUS router changes back to the default, which is admin and admin. All the data logs for features like AI protection are deleted. This also includes things like uh, system logs, Wi-Fi logs, uh, DHCP logs, uh, routing tables, port forwarding rules, uh, etc. They will also all be deleted. After everything's deleted, the ASUS router then restarts using its factory settings and all the uh, LED lights are turned off temporarily. Then, when the uh, factory reset and restart is finalized, the LEDs are automatically switched back on again and you can start using the router. So then uh, you'll have to reconfigure your ASUS router again as if it was fresh out of the box. Well, that's it for this video. Uh, please post in the comment section below uh, which reset method worked for you and uh, which model of uh, ASUS router you have. And maybe even click that uh, like and subscribe button. It really helps me out. Thanks, and uh, I'll see you all in the next video.